Do you know how long a succulent arrangement can last? My name is Teresa Ebro, Chef Second Succulents, and in this video, I'm going to show you our two-year-old arrangement. Yes, succulent arrangements can last for years, depending on the kind of soil you use, where you plant them, what plants you combined, and the perfect location they love. Of course, it also depends on how you take care of them, especially how you water. Do you know that succulent plants, when well established, require minimal care? They become more resilient and tolerant of drought. It is giving these plants too much water that causes a lot of problems and failure. My friend Dinah and I created this arrangement for Christmas two years ago. Some of you might have seen how this was put together because we showed this on our YouTube video. We used this antique Victorian buggy as a planter and we did not drill a hole because the lining allows water to seep through. This buggy was being sold online for more than $100, but we got this only at $20 in one of the estate sale we visited. With succulent arrangements, you do not need to buy new or expensive planters. You can always repurpose some items that you are not using at home. Take a look at these repurposed items used by Hazelyn Guerrero of Guerrero Farms in the Philippines. They are so beautiful and I tell you, I was palpitating with so much excitement as I was going around her garden. When you use items not intended for planting as planters, it makes your project more unique, something unusual. It can show your creativity and can inspire others to create their own. For the succulent arrangements to last, you need to use the proper soil mixture to avoid problems of overwatering and root rot. It has to be a fast draining soil mixture and of course, a planter that will allow water to drain through. I will leave in the description below the proportion of the soil mixture we often use. Now this is how the arrangement looked two years ago. And this is how it looks like now. I'm sure you would agree that plants are even more gorgeous now compared to before. Succulent plants can become colorful without damaging them by slowly transitioning them to full sun and allowing them enough time to adjust. Contrary to other people's misconceptions about growing colorful succulents, that the plants are exposed to some degree of cruelty or harshness to become colorful, these plants don't show any signs of suffering at all. In fact, they look more radiant and happy. When you create arrangements, you do the same. You slowly transition the plants to full sun to avoid damaging them. Finding out their light requirements can help because most colorful succulents will need full sun to keep their colors. In this arrangement, there is one plant we used that did not make it. It is this Echeveria blue atul that is not as colorful as the rest. 
so try to put plants with the same light and water requirements together. The more colorful the plants are, the more light they need. And those plum succulent plants, especially those belonging to the Cachulicea family, can go more extended periods of drought. So here, we place the taller plants at the back and the low-growing plants in front. So we have aloe, Portulacaria afra, and Euphorbia trigona first. Then we planted low-growing plants in front. Paying attention to the size of the plant and how big it can grow will also give you an idea of where to place them. Some plants that will remain small can be overpowered by those that can grow big as they mature. They will still continue to live, but they will become insignificant in an arrangement. Just like this moon cactus here that hides inside these bigger plants, its beauty is no longer appreciated. Have you noticed how this ruffled echeveria has taken a lot of space in this arrangement? It is not only because this plant can grow big, but it is also because it has enough space to expand. The aloe and euphorbia at the back can even grow bigger, but because they don't have much room to expand, they did not grow much. So another lesson here is that when succulents are planted close together, they do not grow as fast compared to those planted on the ground or planted on their own in bigger pots. When caring for succulent plants, the watering part is often the most challenging. This is where a lot of people differ and this is where a lot of beginners fail. This is how I water my plants. Because I have a lot of them, I use hose when I water. It's hard for me to avoid watering the rosette, so to avoid damaging them, I water in the morning when the sunlight is not yet strong. If you follow the basic tips of using fast draining soil mixture, using planters with drainage holes, and watering only when the soil is dry, and yet could not figure out how to keep your succulents alive, then maybe it's time to dig a little bit deeper and understand what's so unique about these succulent plants, what they love and what they hate. They love water. Yes, they do. They love to sip a lot of water and store it. But if we give them more than what they can store, it is where damages occur. Also, remember that they hate to sit on wet soil for days. So to be successful growing succulents, learn to water these plants based on their needs and the environment you are growing them. Pay attention to your plants because they can tell you if they require water or not. I have some good news. In a few weeks, I'm going to release my first book. The title is Water Me Next Week, A Succulent's Plea. It's a beginner's guide to growing succulents. The book will guide you to start your succulent hobby right by understanding the uniqueness of succulents and the special way they handle water. That's it for now and I hope you learned a lot from this video. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet.